I would like to share with you now a meditation or mind journey to clearing the chakras, clearing these incredible energy centers we all have within us, that light body. We carry so much within each chakra and I find that m most guides will work with you in one particular chakra, they might be an expert. So we're gonna go through the chakra system. As we go through this journey, you'll become aware of an energy surrounding you in that, in that actual energy center. So that's what we're gonna do, we'll explore that, that valley, that space, that, that life, okay? So once again, as I do my meditations, mind journeys, I just want you to close your eyes and just feel comfortable, feel comfortable within the body. And you can lay down or you can sit down wherever you're comfortable. And make sure you're in a space that you will not be interrupted by any outside uh, noises or disturbances. Okay, so we're gonna close our eyes and we just send out a thought, sending out an intention, a prayer. Dear Spirit Guides, we ask you now to come close to us. Dear Spirit Guides, we come to you now with the intention that you will assist us in removing blockages, removing stale energy, removing any other person's energy within the chakra system that holds us back from our own divine light, from our own potential of healing. Dear Spirit Guides, we welcome you into this space. We welcome your work and we are so blessed to have you with us. And now just take a few deep breaths and repeat after me. Close your eyes and inhale through your nose and say, be still, be still, be still. And exhale. And inhale through the nose. Be still, be still, be still. And exhale out of the mouth. And inhale, be still, be still, be still, and exhale. Good, good. And you can go anywhere you want with your mind. The mind travels. You just give it the focus, the permission to go anywhere it wants to. So I just want you now to focus all your attention on the root chakra, the first chakra, the base of the spine. Put all of your attention down to the base chakra, the chakra, this energy center, which is responsible for your survival, your sense of security, your connection to earth, to feel grounded. This particular energy makes us feel safe. So I want you to go into that first chakra point, the base of the spine. And as you explore that area, you will become aware of various energies you may be holding on to, any fears, anxieties, worries about financial situations or your life, illnesses, anything like that, that deals with your security. And as you explore that space, the base of the spine, I want you to widen that space, enlarge that space, expand that space, like it's an earth all its own, its own planet, this beautiful root chakra. And there are many, many beautiful, beautiful elements to this grounding root chakra. And become aware now, as you explore this world of the root chakra, that there is a guide, there's a teacher there, and this guide holds in their hand a beautiful, beautiful, lovely crystal, which energizes that root chakra. And as they put that crystal on that root chakra space, it opens it up clears away the residue, any energies there that are not helping you, that are blocking you. Become aware of the teacher, of the guide. Look up to their face, become aware of what they look like and what their energy feels like. And why do they help you with this first root chakra? What is the reason there? What do they do for you with this healing? And you can ask them now, because they're in charge or aware of the survival instincts, what do they want you to know? What do they want you to become aware of? And perhaps this guide matches this root chakra by wearing red. They're cloaked in red, red spirit robes. And thank them and bless them. 
and become aware now as I count down to zero of the new energy of that space. So three, becoming aware of making that shock a little bit smaller. Two, coming back to the redness. One, back balanced in that space. Zero, feel the new energy that that God has provided in that space. As a clearing, you'll feel a lightness in that space. You'll feel mobility. Good. And now place your focus of your mind to the next chakra. And we can envision this like an elevator going up the spine. The sacral chakra is three inches below the belly button, reproductive organs in that space. And this is a beautiful space of reproduction, creation, emotion, feeling very safe, feeling other people's energy in a safe way. Explore that orange chakra, that space. Become aware now that as you explore that space, that orange color, that energy center lightens up, gets brighter and bolder. And any disturbances, imbalances that are sitting in that space, in that center, your mind becomes aware of just like that. Become aware of anything you're holding on to that hides your light, hides your power. And as it illuminates that orange light, you become aware of a guide who works with you on that second chakra, the sacral chakra. Become aware of how they work with you. What do they feel like? They wear robes of orange to match that point. And they have a message for you to bring balance and clearing to that chakra point. Listen to what it is. And notice the subtle differences between your first guide and this guide. As they place the crystal, special crystal just for that chakra in that space and thank them and they leave you with a message something that you need to know and to do with your own healing and now we go to solar plexus this is right in the middle of our our stomach area here yellow bright bright sun yellow shines place your mind and your focus on this power center this center of self assertiveness love of self, your own power, your own identity in the world. Delve deeply into this center, this bright yellow center, your solar plexus, your power center, where you feel, you feel so strongly the energies all around you of this world, of people, animals, nature. This is where you feel that energy. Explore now that space, that yellow light. Make it large and big, expand it like an earth or world all its own and walk inside that space. Becoming aware now of any energies that are stuck there that are holding that space back from receiving the power. Something's blocking it. Maybe somebody did something to you, you took it personally. There was a past hurt. Maybe someone misused their power. Whatever comes up for you, let it come to the surface to be healed. For the first step in healing is awareness. And as you become aware of that energy, without judgment, you're just assessing it. Be aware of a teacher, a guide, who helps to clear that space, who works with you specifically for your psychic center of your solar plexus. All of you impasse how you feel. Acknowledge that guide. Ask who they are as they wear the yellow robes. And they place the crystal in that space of your solar plexus to amplify the power, to clear the power, bring balance. Listen now to a message they have for you regarding your solar plexus center. What do they say? Good. And now I want you to place your mind and your focus on your heart in the heart center, which is a green, beautiful light. So in this beautiful green space of healing and balance, harmony, explore and see what holds you back. What are those issues that still need to be addressed? Maybe you have to forgive someone, show forgiveness or compassion, emotional healing. As you explore this lovely healing green space of the heart, become aware now who's involved in that healing space 
What guide, as they wear green robes, they come into your mind at this point. They're involved with your spiritual evolvement of the heart. The awareness of your own divine instrument. Listen to your guide now, the guide of the heart. What do they have to say to you? What do they want you to do personally for your own healing and well-being? And thank them. And place your mind, place all of your awareness in your thoughts, right at your throat, the chakra for the throat, beautiful blue colors, harmony, vibration of blue light, bright blue light. And expand that beautiful blue light, the light of expression, creative expression, speaking your truth, having your opinions, expressing your creative energy, your own unique design. That beautiful blue is all around you everywhere you look. Walk through the blue. Experience the atmosphere of this blue creative energy. And as you do, your mind becomes aware of any blockages, any limitations in that space. Whether it's from your own origin or from other people's opinions or belief systems. What holds you back from true creative expression and as you explore these issues, you become aware of a teacher, a guide, who works primarily with the throat chakra, with that center for creative balance, creative expression, speaking your truth. Look now at that being in the blue robes. Be aware of what their energy feels like and what they do for your own development in that area. Be mindful now of a message they give you, perhaps a word, guidance, a sentence, and thank them. Now placing your awareness right in your third eye center, in the middle of the eyebrow center there, the seat of clairvoyance. And there's an indigo color, bright, bright, purple, red, indigo. Let that indigo expand just by you thinking of it and placing yourself right in the center of that eyebrow center, the center of sight and vision. Feel the energies there. Feel the energies of vision, of future sight. Become aware as you expand that beautiful indigo color, the purple red color, of any issues that hold you back from seeing the truth for yourself or someone in your life. What holds you back from seeing things truthfully? What issues come into your mind? What clarity comes to you at this state? And being very aware now, as you explore this state in this center, there is a being, a teacher, a guide who works with your clairvoyance, who works with developing inner vision for you be aware now as they step close to you, become one with you, and they are here, very powerful for your inner vision, your clarity. Listen to them, for they have a message, a word for you to hear as they work with you to clear this space, to deal with the issues, to let yourself receive, be aware of this light, which is you. And thank them. Now take your mind, your focus, to the space right above your head, the crown chakra, and just imagine there's a beautiful violet flame of light, bright violet colors, expanding higher and around you. The entire space above you is filled with this violet color, this violet vibration, the frequency of this violet light and explore the opening to the cosmos. Explore the spiritual wisdom that is given to you, downloaded to you through this center. Feeling the wisdom, spirituality, the connection to source. And as you explore this, to clear, to balance, 
to have understanding, clarity. What issues or blocks come to mind as you explore this center? What holds you back from being a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, spiritual philosopher, from being your own self? What holds you back from your own soul's evolution, your own soul's connection to source energy? What issues are there to clear, to take away? And then you become aware now of a main guide, a gatekeeper, who comes to you now in this space above your head, this beautiful wise guide wearing violet robes. And this guide, of course, hands you a beautiful crystal for this space, a purple amethyst. And suddenly you become aware now of your entire team, of all the guides that are working with you now, those who are working to clear the chakras, and those who now come to your mind, who have specific tasks to work with you on. They encircle you all around you, become aware of each one, how you feel with each one, any characteristics of each one. Feel your family of spiritual teachers, of spiritual guides. And together they chant, send you a vibration of sound, of the rainbow, a mixture of all the colors to clear and balance, take away foreign energy and debris, which has been stuck for so long in these impulse centers, clearing you up as you were when you were first were born into the physical, your soul is free. Your soul is alive. Your soul is empowered with divine spark of light. Feel the rainbow lights as all of these guides encircle you, put out their hands, sending you these beautiful rainbow colors, the ray of the rainbow to fill you up. You are connected to one, to all. May these truths of your soul extend to everyone that you come into contact with and may through these guides and your own clearing may you clear others to the truth of their own being and so it is and thank them feel their love and their joy namaste